Hi, welcome everyone. In today's video, I am going to show you several new functions for panel data, specifically dynamic panel data in Stata. So, first of all, we'll start with uh, importing a data. So, this is my do do file. I will use this command to import the data which is already saved in Stata data file, so that I can just uh, run this command. It will import the data, and these are the commands that will generate the log of these variables and now log forms are created okay then uh, since in my data file uh, the country name is in uh, character form so I have to convert it into coded form so that I can use it to declare xt set for that I will use encode command and generate an id variable which is now coded form if you can go here it is still country names but it has it is coded now so e first country is code, code number one second country is code number two so on so forth uh, then xt set id it will declare data as uh, panel data here we can use xtcd2 uh, xtcd test uh, to check the cross section dependence so if i run this you can see that the the correlation value is here and it's insignificant it means that it is independent Similarly, if you check all of the variables like this one, this is cross-sectional dependent. So if any one of the variable is cross-sectional dependent, you have to go towards uh, second generation panel, panel and data analysis. So now, so since we confirmed that there is cross-sectional dependence, now we need to use uh, unit to test which are allowed, which can be used for cross-sectional dependent data that is X, XTCIPS so when I use this it will tell me that this variable is non-stationary see the test value is smaller than the critical values but there are few variables here like this third variable this is significant so it means it is stationary this way since it means that there is a mixed order of variables we will use um, panel ARDL but the, since and also there is cross chain dependence so we will use the CS ARDL model which is commonly available nowadays and it is available in Stata so for that we will go towards um, the slope heterogeneity test this command is xthst for that you will add all the independent variables and dependent variable when you run this it will tell you that the slope is homogeneous for all the cross sections that are being used in this data since in my data there are only four cross sections that's why it's more likely that the slopes are homogeneous because the countries are nearing similar to each other so this is a new command and then we can also check for structural break in panel data but it is for pairwise variables one dependent and one independent so that you can check for that particular variable if there is a break or not so this command is xt break estimate dependent variable one independent variable check up to two breaks break in fixed effect intercept because in the panel data the intercept is fixed effect based and when i run this it is telling that these two years there is a break year 2005 and year 2013 in the data so you can uh, allow the 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 dummy variable that is structure break now we'll go towards second generation uh, panel co-integration that is xt co co-integration test by westerland for that there is dependent independent variable and independent variables when i run this according to this test there is no co-integration okay but we can go towards an alternative option by using padroni test and allowing for d mean means the, it will remove the mean values from all the variables which will break the, the cross-sectional dependence and if i use this test there is co-integration so in your case you might be lucky enough to get co-integration in using western test and it will be ideal in that case now i will go towards the the command for uh, cross CSARDL model so I will show it here so its command is xtdccee2 xtdccee2 dependent variable that is change in dependent d dot dependent variable then long run variables but here in long run variables you can add lags which will be shown in short run and LR option is the RDL model 
and then the cross section dependent variable for that the model will correct for dependence you will add only those variables here which had the dependency and then lags for those variables which are dependent and full sample means run on the full sample when you run this you notice that the, the in the first bracket you have used uh, lag of dependent variable so it is in short and it is here then there are one there is one lag for tertiary LTER so LTER is here and the lag is also here so this way you can add the specification the logic that I usually use is that if the level level variable is significant in short run you can add its lag and 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 so on if the lag is significant you can add the second lag then uh, see here there are 86 observations for two countries and total 22 countries here each L like, uh, Technically, this model is uh, ideal for large n and large t. So here you can see that the the residuals there is no dependence anymore, and the R square is here. So these are the long run coefficients, and other than one, all of them are significant. And this one is a convergence coefficient. This is between minus one and zero. So this is the way you can estimate the cross CSA ideal model in theta. Most of these commands are not directly available in Stata, so for the, the way to install is you can write uh, ssc install and the name of the command like xtdcce2. So if you write this, it will install uh, the command or like xtcd. So this way, if you use this command, if, if, if it is not installed already, it will install it or if it is already installed, it will update according to the, uh, the latest library available thank you very much for watching do share your comments and uh, so that we can uh, share more videos and 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 help each other thank you very much